So data ops is really bringing the people who manage and control and secure data, like database administrators and, and people of the like, together with the people who are going to consume that data, like developers, uh, AI analysts, testers, and allowing a uh, collaborative approach to, uh, to bringing those two groups together. Because there's a lot of friction between those teams. One, one group trying to protect data, and the other group really trying to use it like never before. And the reason this is important for uh, companies is they're trying to move faster and they're trying to use data as a strategic asset to help deliver better service or better applications to their customers. And through the use of data and free, uh, more rapid access to data, it helps them innovate at greater speed. So with data ops, security is really fundamental to data ops because the whole uh, thought of data ops is that data will flow freely throughout an organization. And so you're going to have many more copies of your data virtually delivered. And uh, in order to do that, we have to keep that data secure to, to comply with things like GDPR and privacy laws. So um, security is very important. And we deal with that through data ops through technology called masking, which takes private and sensitive data and, uh, and obfuscates it and changes it. So it's still useful, but it takes out any of the private information. So when we think about security and data ops, uh, and you think about masking technology, this is primarily used in environments that are not in production. So these are environments used by analysts and developers and testers, and that is actually where most of the data is and it's where most of the security vulnerability is because you have a much higher, um, a much higher uh, footprint to, to protect. And so what we do is we change that information by profiling, finding the, the sensitive information, and then changing it. And then once it's changed, it stays changed. We don't ever bring it back. So it's always safe. The cooperation between the two companies is uh, threefold. First of all, um, we meet uh, compliance for GDPR um, because this is a hot topic um, for all of our customers. Uh, the second thing is uh, we drive um, highest automation because we are able to give developers the freedom to deploy their own uh, development environments. Uh, and, and the third thing is uh, we are able to save uh, quite a lot of uh, cost, infrastructure cost for our customers and uh, speed up the process. What we see at the moment is, for example, SAP. SAP announced that by 2025 they will stop support for the actual SAP environment uh, and everybody has to go to HANA. So what we see today is for our huge environment of uh, customers, SAP customers, that also with Delphix we enable them to migrate much faster on the HANA platform uh, than with, uh, without such a technology. That's one thing. The other thing is also, uh, while doing this, we make use of the masking, uh, masking technology uh, of Delphix. And with this, we can also um, scramble all personal data and do the testing even uh, offshore. Uh, that means we can use uh, testers in India or in the Philippines in our offshore centers, uh, but still be compliant in terms of GDPDR. <laughs>